So how to reconcile uh, accepting what arises in the present moment and at the same time perhaps uh, holding in your mind an image of what you want to manifest in your life or using affirmations Now that's the perhaps that's the most important part of manifesting living in this world is to to bring the two together accepting whatever arises in the present moment without losing the ability to in your day-to-day -day life, in your um, personal and professional life, without losing the ability to have goals, for example, and move towards goals or to have certain aims. Uh, when you practice uh, manifestation techniques it might you might might do it as uh, set aside a few minutes every day maybe twice a day and maybe in the morning and in the evening when you focus on something that you want to manifest um, the rest of the time you live your life without continuously thinking about something that is other other than what arises in the present moment so it's important the very foundation for successful living but also the very foundation for manifesting things is to be deeply accepting of whatever the present moment brings to face it in that state of acceptance if you're not in a state of acceptance it's a state of acceptance that takes you deeper into the vertical dimension which is uh, beyond ego the state of non-acceptance keeps you trapped in egoic limit, very limited egoic consciousness. So when you are in opposition to the present moment, in whatever form it arises, and that's very easy to fall back into that even for spiritual practitioners, so to speak, to fall back into this deep-seated habit of being in opposition to what arises in the present moment. Um, so the it's vital to recognize that something that is the case now cannot be otherwise in this moment this is beyond any doubt it is because that's how it is you cannot wish it away or say it shouldn't be it is whatever it's arising now is. Uh, it's dysfunctional to argue with it or to create some kind of mental emotional resistance to it. It does not mean that change cannot take place. It does not mean that you cannot take action in order to manifest something that you would prefer. But the important thing is, at this moment, there's no division, no, there's no antagonism between you and what you experience as your reality. That's very important. Not to have an antagonistic relationship with whatever arises in the present moment.